Hello, and welcome to Math Matters. I'm Mrs. Parker. In today's episode, we are going to use addition and subtraction strategies through a three-act task called Bag of Chips. During today's three-act task, Bag of Chips, you should be able to use strategies to solve addition and subtraction problems. Here are some materials you will need for today's lesson. You will need a piece of paper, a pencil, and maybe counters to help you. Also, as you are working today, you are going to have an opportunity to practice your communicator skills by sharing your ideas through writing and working to make connections about what you read and hear throughout the lesson. To get our brains thinking about math, we're going to do a warm-up activity called Which One Doesn't Belong? Look at the four pictures. Three of the pictures go together in one way, while the fourth one doesn't belong. There isn't a wrong answer, as long as you can explain why. Are you ready? Which picture doesn't belong and why? Number one doesn't belong because the other ones are related facts. Number two doesn't belong because it's the only one that has pictures. Number three doesn't belong because it's the only one that represents subtraction. Number four doesn't belong because it's a number problem instead of a number sentence. What other ideas did you think of? Can you write those down on your piece of paper? In a moment, you're going to watch a video. As you watch, what do you notice and what do you wonder? What are some things that you noticed while watching the video? I noticed that he opened a large bag that had smaller bags of chips inside of it. I noticed that there seemed to be fewer bags of chips than there should be. What are some things that you wondered while watching the video? I wondered how many kind of each bag of chips there were. I also wondered how many bags of chips there were in all. I also wondered how many bags of chips were missing. What other things did you notice and wonder? Can you write those down on your piece of paper? Here is our question that we're going to try to solve. How many bags of chips are missing? 
Before we solve this problem, we're going to make an estimate. But we're also going to think of an estimate that is too high as well as too low. Think about the video and what you already know to make your estimate. When you are thinking about your estimates, remember to think about the reasonableness of your estimate. An unreasonable low estimate would be that two bags of chips are missing. It's unreasonable because you may not easily notice if two bags of chips were missing. What would be a too low estimate? To make a reasonable high estimate, think about a time you've got a big bag of chips like this. Usually there are about 20 to 36 bags in all. An unreasonable high estimate is that 30 bags are missing because we can see so many and usually there aren't more than 36 bags in all. What would be a too high estimate? Now that you thought of your too low and too high estimate, what is your estimate of the number of bags that is missing from the bigger bag? Go ahead and write it down on your piece of paper. Think back to our question. In order to solve this problem of how many bags of chips are missing, we need some information. What do we need to know in order to answer this question? One thing we need to know is how many bags of chips there were. Use the picture above to, to help you see how many bags of chips there were in the bag. How many bags of chips were there? What's a strategy you could use to find out? You could count the bags of chips by ones, but you could also count by groups of threes and leftovers. There are different groups of threes and then one leftover, and we could count three, six, nine, and one leftover makes 10. We could also add different kinds of chips together to make the numbers more friendly. Do you see any two bags that the combinations would make five? The green bags has three and the blue bags have two. So together they make five. Also the yellow bags and the black bags also can make five because four bags and one bag also would make five bags. So there were 10 bags of chips to start with. Another piece of information we need to know is how many bags there were supposed to be in the bag. Using the picture above, how many bags of chips were supposed to be in the bag? What are some strategies you could use to help you find out? Write those down on your piece of paper. One strategy you could use is to draw a picture of the bags that are supposed to be there. Can you use this picture to help you?
You can also use friendly numbers to figure out how many chips were supposed to be in the bag. Look at the equations over to the right. Where did the 8 and 4 come from? The classic chips has 8 and the barbecue chips had 4 to make 12. Where did the 5 and the 3 come from? There were 5 sour cream and onion and 3 salt and vinegar. Where did I get the numbers 12 and 8? For 12 plus 8 equals 20. The 12 is from the combination of the classic chips and the barbecue chips. The 8 is the combination of the sour cream and the salt and vinegar. And then all together there should be there should have been 20 bags. Now that we have this new information, try to solve the problem. There were 10 bags of chips, but there should have been 20 bags of chips. So how many bags of chips were missing? Use your piece of paper and try to solve the problem using a strategy. As we solve this problem, using a part-part-whole mat can help us. We know that 10 bags were there to begin with, but 20 bags should have been there. And we're trying to find out how many are missing. What strategies can you use to help you solve the problem? Try to solve the problem. Then we will look at some strategies to help. Let's look at some strategies that you could have used. We could have used 10 frames with counters. We know that there were 20, there should have been 20 bags of chips in all. Two 10 frames have 20 spots. We also know that there were 10 bags to start. The blank boxes would let us know how many are missing. How many bags are missing?
Another strategy we could have used is an open number line. You could either start at 10 or 20 and see the difference between the two numbers. I'm going to count up from 10 to 20 by fives, but you can use the number line any way that you would like to in whatever way is friendly to you. I made two jumps. My first jump of five went to 15. My second jump of five went to 20. So how many bags were missing? You could have also used a doubling strategy with related facts. If you know that 10 plus 10 is 20, then you know that 20 minus 10 also equals 10. You know this because 20 is double of 10, as well as the fact that addition and subtraction facts are related to each other. How many bags of chips were missing? There were 10 bags of chips missing. Before we go, let's reflect. What strategies did you use to help you find the answer? If you had to solve this problem again, what would you do differently to solve it this time? In today's episode of Math Matters, we learned how to use addition and subtraction strategies. How could you use addition and subtraction strategies at home? I'm Mrs. Parker and keep on counting. Thank you for watching and have a great day.